Hi, welcome to the Crafts Channel. My name's Corinne Brad, and if you've ever watched any of my other demonstrations, you'll notice that I have a very small portable ironing board that's usually green. I've actually recovered it because I realised how filthy dirty it was. And it's made very simply from like a, um, not wood chip, but it's like a composite wood clipboard. So I was going to demonstrate how to recover this one. I realised that when I'd actually covered this one in the first place, I think I'd used carpet tape on the back. It was a nightmare to get everything off. So I've recovered this one and I'm going to show you how easy it is and what you need. So grab yourself a little clipboard and then first of all what you need to do is you need to get yourself some tin foil, just ordinary baking foil. You want a piece that you can fold into three that will fit onto your ironing board, preferably without your dents in the corners. And just secure this very roughly with a bit of double-sided tape top and bottom. I'll put a bit under the clip there. And if you can find a clipboard that has this kind of open loop clip rather than the bulldog clip at the top, it does make life much easier. And you'll see why when I come to putting the fabric on it. But if you're unable to do that, there's no reason why you can't just stop your ironing board before the clip. But the reason I've used a clipboard and not just a piece of wood is because some projects, especially things like macrame and, and stuff like that, it's really handy to have that clip at the top for your work. So pop your tin foil on there. This is here for two reasons. It stops your board burning. It also reflects the heat back so you iron quicker. And then what you also want is a couple of layers of quilt wadding. If you don't have any spare quilt wadding, you can use old disreputable bath towels cut into pieces um, but that also wants to go and it wants to be trimmed to the same size as your clipboard. Um, if you're going to use an old bath towel what I would recommend you do is if you as soon as you've cut your pieces get a sewing machine and zigzag stitch all the way around the edge so that it doesn't fray and shed pieces of cotton as much as it can do. Um, and then what you want, you want a piece of fabric that is about half as wide and half as long again as your clipboard. We'll give this a quick iron to get it as flat as possible. Lay this onto your clipboard, flip it over and just check you've got an equal board all the way around. So, we won't worry about the top bit for now, but put a bit of double-sided tape across the bottom. And bring up the lower piece of fabric. And then we'll put double-sided tape down one edge. Right to your corner. And bring up this piece of fabric. Again, with no... I've not stretched this yet. Then when I come to do this other side is when I'm going to start putting some tension on the fabric. Because what you want to try and do is keep everything taut so that when you're ironing delicate pieces like, you know, half square triangles for your patchwork or if you're doing a little bit of um, sort of vinyl transfer and things like that, you want to try and make sure that the, what you're ironing onto is as flat as possible and hasn't got any wrinkles in it. You also want to be able to get your double sided tape off. Yeah. 
again more to this corner and then as you stick this side down just pull your fabric a little bit tauter as you do so up to the edge so that you've got a nice smooth area when it comes to the top if you feel where your clip is and when you feel where the these bits of your clip are I'll show you here where these bits of your clip are so you can do that by feel and if you just grab a pencil and just make a little mark where one is where one the other one is and then cut down to that mark so what you can then do is lift that clip up and slip the top of your fabric under it and then before you go too much further just pull that fabric tool again bit of double sided tape bit of double sided tape that I can't find the end of if you've ever watched any of my other demonstrations you'll see how well I show the simplest of tasks to be really difficult stick that down And then again with these pieces, if you just mitre that, in fact you don't even need to mitre that, you can stick that down almost at an angle. Just going to use a little bit of tape on there. use a bit of tape that's not sticking So your board is now covered and you can run an iron over it to check that there aren't any wrinkles on there. And then all you have to do now is just neaten the back of your board. Um, what you can do if you wish, you can cut yourself a piece of card, glue it on there carefully. Um, I'm just going to simply use some of this um, it's like a professional fabric gaffer tape it's got very good stick to it And actually, because it's fabric tape, it cuts much better with your fabric scissors than it does with your paper scissors. And just put enough on there to hold everything down securely and also to cover up your raw seams or your raw edges of fabric so it doesn't fray.
and this might look like overkill but if you take your because it's effectively a portable ironing board and if you take it around and you chuck it in a bag and you're, you're using it regularly the better you stick it down and the neater the back of your work is the more or the longer it will last you as I say the little clipboard that I had previously what's well, the same clipboard but I must have had that three four years um, and as I say the only reason I, I decided to recover it was because it did look really grubby but it was still working as a portable ironing surface for small projects say if you haven't to get your big ironing board out I mean I must have about five or six different sizes of ironing boards in my house um, and I use my A4 clipboard ironing board more than anything else because I don't iron my clothes so there you go hope you like that I so say there were people that had been asking how did I make the clipboard so very simply just make sure you've got a wooden base clipboard you put some tin foil on it to reflect the heat back you put a layer of wadding on there so that you've got something to iron onto and then cover it with the fabric of your choice and neaten it at the back thanks very much for watching um, please come back again and see us soon because we've got lots of videos for you lots of different disciplines um, but in the meantime keep safe bye if you've been inspired to create please share your makes with us in the comments section below and if you've enjoyed videos by the craft channel hit the like button want to see more of us then click subscribe see you next time